Hi guys, how are you today? I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Today we are actually going to a reptile exotic store about an hour and a half away from our house and we are almost there. I'm super excited. They said they have baby tegus and I really want to look at them. I have wanted one for a long time and we might get one so I can't wait to look at them. So I'm really excited. So come with us you guys and let's check out this new place. don't know if it's a male or not when they're this little so I don't know mile. if we Take can... exit 103 Acord Main Street, Bexley. <laughs> This place is really cool, you guys. I'm surprised we haven't found it before, but look, they have an Asian water monitor right here. His name is Dino, but he's not for sale. He's beautiful. Oh, look at his tongue.
Yeah, we got a male here. So yeah, you can see the the femoral pores here. They see the black dots. Yeah. And then here in the corners, the way it looks like one big scale in the corners of the cloaca vent. That's how you tell it's a male. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Keep them out. <laughs> how much? How much are they? Uh, four hundred. Four hundred. That comes with the tank and everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. How long have you guys been here? Uh, about three years. Really? Yeah, we just found you guys. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we just got here and talked to the guy, and he does have some tegus, and he pulled out one and checked it out, and it is a male. So we are going to look around some more, but I think we're going to get it. Okay, you guys, we got our male tegu, and we are getting ready to pay and get his lights and everything and go home. I can't wait, but this place is absolutely amazing, you guys. He has so much cool stuff here. The guy's name is Matt, and he's really awesome. So if you guys are ever around um, central Ohio, definitely check out Reptilian Exotics in Columbus, Ohio. It's really awesome. He's got all kinds of stuff here. They got tegus, they got black and white tegus, they got red tegus, they have blue tongue skinks, they have anacondas, they have all kinds of stuff. Definitely come and check this place out. Right, one, two, three. Pinky mice, and then we got the repti safe. And then, you, is this cork round yours also? Yeah, yeah. Already cork round. Hi guys! So we just left Reptilian Exotics and I got my baby! I am so excited! I've wanted to take you for so long! Look at him! He's so, so beautiful! And it is a male. They said it is a male. And he is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited! They had two more up there, but we didn't have him check the other ones. He just... I like him. Seemed right. He seemed right. I kind of want to name him Ghost. I like that name. Mr. Speckles. <laughs> Mr. Speckles, yeah. Got to come up with a name before I get home because Camila will be like, I want to name him Frecklebutt or something Continue like that. On James Road for half a mile. <laughs> but I'm so excited I got him. We're going to get him home and get him out and show you guys what he looks like up close and without his Tupperware. Tell him about Pootie's play at Pootie House. <laughs> Okay, Pootie's Playhouse. So across the street from this place, there was a place called Pootie's Playhouse. And I in a quarter mile, turn right onto East Livingston they Avenue. They full-size windowless vans and candy. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know what it was there. I don't know what. I, we didn't go in there. I kind of wanted to go just to see what it was, but we didn't. Not me. But it is <laughs> it was seriously called... Pootie's Playhouse. Who's calling? Take the next right onto East Livingston Avenue. But it was really called Pootie's Playhouse. But when we get home, I will show you guys what he looks like. And see you Continue soon. Morning. Hi, guys. We are finally home. And I just wanted to say the ride home was long and a little bit scary because he was pretty active in his little bowl like the entire time. And then all of a sudden, he threw up and he puked up like this big chunk of it it was gross it smelled like old raw meat so i wonder if it was one of those pinky mice they were feeding him but he threw up and then and then he just laid down and it started freaking me out i felt like he was maybe getting motion sickness or 
uh, like car sickness or something. So I wanted to hurry up, get him home. We picked up Mila on the way. She was at um, my mamaw's house. So we picked her up on the way home. Ah. And we got home and we got him in this 75 gallon enclosure that I got right here. We don't have a top for it, so I'm gonna have to put like a um, a board on it. I just put some um, paper towels in it for tonight and we got a little ceramic heater that clips on. Because it is eight o'clock at night, all of the pet stores are closed already. So we're gonna have to just make do with this tonight. And then tomorrow, early in the morning, we can go and get him everything that he needs. We're going to use this 75-gallon enclosure um, for now until he gets bigger. And we are going to be building him his own uh, very large 8 by 4 by 4 enclosure. So this is what he's using for now. He seems to really have a lot of room to roam, so that's good. And he seems pretty nice and calm, even though the... The husky is just staring at him. I'm going to move her in a minute. But I'm going to try and hold him and see if he lets me hold him. So we'll go ahead and try that. I, when I was at the mammal's house, I picked some beans. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy about the two beans. What are you going to do with your beans? Are you going to eat them? Or? Yeah, I'm going to cook them and eat them. Your two beans? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cook them. Oh. Hello, Grizz. Stop eating my face. <laughs> Hi, Grizz. Grizz wants to say hello. Stop so we are going, when we picked her up, face. she was in the uh, garden yeah. picking beans with Mamaw. So I guess she'll eat her two beans. I'll cook her her two beans, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and see if he'll let me hold him and bond with him. I've watched a lot of bonding videos on Tegus, and they say that a lot of people like to just let them stay in their enclosure for about a week and they that sometimes they'll come around but normally it doesn't work that way you want to start bonding with them as soon as you get them so I'm gonna go ahead and try to bond with him he's not like Drax in there who just won't let us even look at him but I think Drax is coming around too but we'll see but I can't believe I finally got my Tegu. I am so excited. I know I was thinking that I probably should wait until I get a bigger house. But we're going to make this entire room like the reptile and ferret room. So I think that it'll be fine to have. We'll have enough room for his enclosure. So I can't wait. Let's go ahead and start bonding. Hi guys! So it is actually the next morning. I was going to try to bond with him after dinner, but when I got food and then ate it, um, I came in and he was sleeping so soundly. I did not want to wake him up because he had such a hard day, so I didn't want to wake him. So today I'm going to try and give him some crickets for breakfast and... We are going to go get him everything he needs at the store and we'll try to do some bonding um, before we go to the store and then after we get his enclosure finished as well. So let's go ahead and see if he'll eat some crickets. Okay, we got my crickets here. I hate getting these things. I can never get them. Ugh. I'm worse with the tongs too, so. Did I get one? I think I got one, yay. Focus. Good boy. Good boy. Let's get him a few more. Hi. There's a big one. Ah, come here, big one. No. Ah, come on. So they say that there's phosphate, I believe it was phosphate, in crickets, and they really need phosphate. If they don't have enough, they will. your tegu will get the shakes. So he really needs crickets while he's growing as like a beginning stage into other things. So I'm going to try to get some more crickets. But um, so crickets are really important. They also said you could feed them um, like chicken hearts, beef hearts, uh, chicken livers, things like that. If you cut them into little strips um, for them to make it easy for them to swallow, which is great because I feed my ferrets all raw meat diet and they have to eat heart and organs so they I have plenty of those so that's awesome but they can eat like scrambled eggs and all kinds of other stuff fruits veggies but when they're babies they really need the crickets so I'm gonna try and get some more out of here it's ridiculous I can't ever grab them and crickets stink and ugh, dubias are much better this big guy haha <laughs> I got the big one finally okay 
So I have decided on his name. I'm going to name him Ghost. I love that name and he's so awesome and I think it fits him. I like it. I'm so excited. I finally got my baby. His name is Ghost. So I actually decided to end the video right here. I was going to continue on and show you guys how I did his entire enclosure. But um, this video is getting a little long, so I decided to go ahead and end it right here. And then I will start uh, putting that video together for you guys as well. So that'll be actually a separate video. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you like content like this, please go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you guys in the family. And I will see you guys in the next video. And remember, guys... In a world where you can be anything, please be kind to each other. Love you guys. Bye.